Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, let me continue talking about uh, how trigonometric functions um, uh, behave uh, when arguments are certain basic angles, which um, we are all familiar with, like 30 degrees, 45 degrees, etc. Um, I have already covered sine and cosine functions, and it's important uh, before going into tangent, which I'm going to talk about today, uh, to review how sine and cosine um, are doing in this particular case. Um, and the reason for this is very simple. You have remember that one of the equivalent definition of a tangent is this. It's a ratio of sine over cosine. Now, um, I'm not going to um, I I examine the unit circle and, and different angles separately with triangles, etc., etc. In this case, I'll just use this definition and the fact that I have already examined what are sine and cosine for all these basic uh, angles. So let me just go straight into this. Now, basic angles are zero pi over 6, which is uh, 30 degrees, uh, pi over 4, which is 45 degrees, pi over 3, which is 60 degrees, and pi over 2, which is 90 degrees. Now, for these cases, what is a sign? Now, um, a sine of zero is zero. It's an ordinate, right, of the angle of zero um, radians. This is pi over six. Ordinate is opposite angle, so it's one half. So this is square root of two over two that I do remember, and I do remember this as well, and sine is equal to one for a 90 degree angle. Uh, now, what's the cosine? Well, cosine is just an opposite. It's 1 and 0. So, what is, in this case, the tangent? Well, obviously, it's sine over cosine, right? So, it's 0 in this case. This is 1 over square root of 3, which is the same as square root of 3 over 3. If I'm multiplying by square root of 3, both numerator and denominator, I will get this. This is a more traditional record, uh, record of this. Uh, people prefer to have radicals on the top than the numerator. Now, here it's 1, because the sine and the cosine are the same. So if you divide 1 by another, it will be 1. 1, and it should be square root of 3, and tangent is not defined at 90 degrees. Very simple. So I'm not going to go into all the details about why, uh, how these triangles are um, arranged. It's much better just to use this particular definition, which is equivalent as we know. Um, now, how about other properties? Um, you do remember that sine is an odd function and cosine is even function. Now that makes tangent odd function. Now since it's odd, then we can calculate minus 30 degrees, minus 45, minus 60, or minus 90. We just reverse the sign because it's an odd function. Now if you want something else, you do have to remember a couple of formulas for sine and cosine related to uh, adding pi. Sine of x plus pi is equal to minus sine of x, and cosine of x plus pi equals minus cosine of x. Now, why is that? Well, again, back to the unit circle, which I pr promise not to mention today. Anyway, it's not mentioned relative to tangent, it's mentioned relative to sine and cosine, so I'm excused. 
so if you add pi, you go to from the first uh, uh, quadrant, you go to the third, when both ordinate and uh, abscissa are negative. So that's obvious. So that makes the tangent, since both are changing the sign, so the tangent is equal. If you add pi to a tangent, it's exactly the same thing. And if you remember, actually, pi is a period of function tangent, right? So that actually just the proof of this. So since pi is a period, you can derive from these angles um, and the fact that the tangent is an uh, odd uh, function. You can derive basically all other nice angles, like 135, which is... Uh, 180 minus uh, 45 or 270, which is 180 plus uh, 90 or something like this. So all angles are basically derivable from all these nice uh, rules. Um, that's basically it. These are properties of tangent for basic angles. Very short lecture. Nothing really, you know, fancy about this. And the most important tool is this definition of tangent. Thank you very much.